This guy was a cynic. Was he an eyewitness? He was a critic. Said, well, Let's see. Let's have a look, shall we? I've been waiting for one hour. For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration, he's very articulate, but that's good language. All at once. Freedom of speech. Read it all at once. Don't confuse people. What's that? Very tactical. Ah, uh, this this is a bug. Boris Johnson is going to be listening to this, isn't he? Please. Set forth an order, a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us. Now, a lot of people they believe no the freedom of speech. Okay, so. Okay, so. Critical. He doesn't want to read it. I, 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 the next line is where he says, please. Where he says Give us a couple of seconds, man. I'm getting there. Getting there. Right, some people believe, to believe or not believe, that is the question. What do you believe? You're risking your whole life on who you trust. He trusts in Muhammad, he's dead. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who came back from the dead. He fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. No, 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 no. I'm now, I'm, I'm getting it ready for the big finale, which you, which you, why are you wearing a mask anyway? I thought you trusted in God. God gives you oxygen. What are you doing a mask on? Every time you take the subject, it's a white flag. Brother. It seemed good to me, also, having had perfect understanding yes. of all things. Yes. From the very first, on, very reading. first of what? No, keep reading, don't you? No, 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 I'm just going to read, because you say no, read, no, we need the context. No, That's why you're an airhead, because you don't read the context. Insults now, insults. Insults now. Perfect understanding of all things from the very first. Now, why would he have perfect, why would he, why would he have perfect understanding? To write unto you in order, most excellent Theophilus. Yes, carry on. Carry so he's on. writing a letter to a guy called Theo, right? Don't Theophilus. Line, it's called context. He doesn't like context. He likes putting things out of context. So this is the, this is the important thing. That you might know the certainty of those things wherein you have been instructed. So you can be certain about the fact that that is a camera and that is not a gun, that is a camera. Look at the evidence. Look at the evidence for Jesus being the Messiah. I'm gambling my whole life now on whether he is the true Messiah of Israel. He is the Messiah. He fulfilled 60 prophecies, didn't he? He's a liar. If you said, ah, <laughs> no, he didn't. There you go. There you go. Now, uh, good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Now, here's the thing. Now, if a Jew gets hold of this book, they would say, hang on, this is written by all, all these people are Jewish. Every single writer is Jewish. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the whole lot. Shaul, Shaul, Paul, 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 not Paul. You can't even read from Luke. Paul, the, Luke please? the Jews, not all Jews were in Israel. Certainly not Luke. He, he was, uh, Shaul was the, from the tribe of Benjamin, from Benjamin. He was a true Jew. He was, no, 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 no. He was not, a, he was not, a, it's not apple juice, orange juice. He was a real Jew. Okay. That's only what Luke says, but Paul never mentions it. Right. Luke was Jewish as well. There's the evidence says Luke. Oh, Luke was Jewish. You, you need to go on the true evidence. Now, the true evidence is the Messiah had to die. The Messiah had to give his life, sacrifice his life on the cross and rise from the dead. And guess what he did? He had to be born in Bethlehem. Why was he born in Bethlehem? Because in Micah 5, 2, chapter 5, verse 2, it says, Out of you, Bethlehem, shall come a ruler of Israel, whose days are from everlasting. Who has come from everlasting to be born in Bethlehem? Yes, it does. Let's hear. Let's hear. Why in all other places where the phrase "Mimei Olam," which, which in Micah 5, 2, or in Jewish yeah, Bibles yeah, yeah. 1, um, the uh, the G King's Table translates King James, there yeah. as everlasting, but in all other places, like for example Micah 7, 14, um, and Emo Amos, I can't remember what the church and verse in Amos, um, and various places in Jeremiah as well, it translates it just as the Jewish Bibles do from days of old or from ancient days. Why is it only in this particular case where it would help your case for it to mean everlasting, does it mean everlasting? Right, you've got to go back to the original Hebrew. accurate Hebrew. Yes. You go back, to, not the, the traditional rabbi orthodox Hebrew. We've got to go back to the accurate real Hebrew. You and you've got to see it in context. Are you got, a, are you a Protestant? No, I'm not a Catholic or Protestant. I'm a Bible, I'm the Tanakh, Torah, uh, Brita had the Shah, the believe, whole Bible you believing, you believe in real in believer in the one true God and the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Do Yeshua. You, do you believe I believe in Yeshua. Do you believe in Sola Scriptura? 
Mm, well, that, that, that was made up by someone subsequent oh, to the Bible. Do you, yeah. do you believe in the Apocrypha? Uh, I believe it's a real book, but I, do I believe that it's inspired of God? No, I don't. Okay. Now, why of... do you not believe in the Apocrypha? Why? Why not? Because uh, it's <laughs> it's because not part. Agree on canon. It's not part of the agreed canon in the first century post. Um, post Messiah. No, 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 no. They, 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 they don't quote the, the, the Apocrypha. Oh, really? It's not, it's not accepted. No, that's not the part of the. The Epistle of Jude quotes from Enoch and the Testament of Moses, which are both accepted as part of the canon by the Ethiopic Church. Yeah, the, the Ethiopic Church. They're not the original second believers. Pe second Peter. Second Peter also quotes from Enoch. Enoch is quoted by quite a few books. Judith is also quoted, I believe, in. Uh, Jude. In, in Jude quoted. Jude quotes the Apocrypha, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, and that's accepted okay. by you Do as you know part what? of your Paul, canon. No, no. Paul, he quotes um, the Epicureans and Stoics. It doesn't mean to say that they're inspired of God. He says, as you're, you know, in him we live and breathe and have our being. He's not saying this is inspired of God. So when that they quote argument. the Apocrypha, well, this is my argument. No, so when they, you're, you're, when, you're when he mentioned, he did not, he did not say that the Apocrypha is the word of God. He may have quoted from it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's good evidence. There's good historical evidence. The Apocrypha is, is accurate, but it's not part of the canon of scripture. But the main thing is the Messiah fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. You you can't do six, no, let alone six. What he did, he, didn't he was one. born in Bethlehem, he, he, he not, lived in um, Nazareth, he would be a that's Nazarene. Not a category. That, there's no verse that says that. And Isaiah 11 1 does not prove your point. Neither does number 613, and neither does Judges 13 well, 5. I believe it does. No, it doesn't. I believe it does. Uh, have you ever read the context of these chapters? Have you ever read what the Hebrew actually says? Probably not. Okay, now so a lot of these, um, not all of them, but some of these prophecies of the Messiah, what he has done, he's pulled them out of their context and he's applied them to himself I would freely admit that that is absolutely right but God can do that he's allowed to do that the gospel of Matthew. you know if you take things in context he's talking about Israel it's talking about what's happening in the immediate time yes. but also the Messiah can apply certain scriptures about himself which is not immediately the uh, obvious uh, at the time so, so and that's what he does so let me get this straight so you don't like you let me get this straight mm. let me clarify with you to make sure I'm not misrepresenting what you say like yeah. you misrepresented what I said a few about two minutes ago about the Apocrypha right what you're saying is yes. it seems to me that Jesus fulfilled 60 prophecies but not the way the prophecies were actually said in context but the way that he wanted to apply them to himself no. so does that not make your argument fall flat on its face no 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 because um, it, they were fulfilled in their context they were i mean when it talks about the antichrist there were many antichrist types Where but the the final that? antichrist i mean in antiochus hey, epiphanes why are you talking to antiochus you you i don't understand you, you got a mask on i don't understand <laughs> so antiochus <laughs> epiphanes huh what are you talking about Jewish, so, Jewish. well well, no, the Jews who wrote the Bible. What are you talking about? Well, that is what Not Paul accuses of uh, 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 us of in in First, no, no, in first no, no, Thessalonians no. chapter two. No, he says the in Jews first Thessalonians the, chapter two. The, 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 of the synagogue of Satan is very different to the regular no, no, synagogue that's of the people in. That's the book of Revelation. I'm talking about the first regular Jews two. who went to the synagogue and they believed in in Hashem. They believed in Yeshua, in the Messiah, in the Mashiach. That's what they believed in. There's Jews and there's Jews. There's apple juice. Or Juice, mango juice, and then you got the juice. You know, if you're a real Jew, you will believe in the Messiah. Me, I'm just standing here. No, you. No, you. See, they're very confused. I haven't read the book. I've read the Quran. I know what it's all about. I've read the whole book. I read the whole book. What? What are you? Are you a scratch record? Who kills you? We answered that. You. We answered that. Your ears aren't covered. You should use them a bit. I mean, everything else is covered. But anyway, I don't know what you're afraid of. But God has given us fresh air. Why put a mask on? Why put a mask? You know, carbon dioxide. You breathe in your own carbon dioxide. You want to wear a mask, let them. It's, it's their freedom to wear a mask. Exactly. And, it shouldn't be mandated on us, but that's yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 so that's we right. shouldn't make fun of people who wear masks. <laughs> it just seems a bit bizarre that he says he believes in God. Well, it's more of a better club, isn't it? It's not a mask. <laughs> that's right, yeah. So, All right, you're so gambling your Come whole on. life. It's very useful for burglaries. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So uh, you're gambling your whole life on the on the on the evidence that you think there is that Yeshua is not the Messiah. Now I'm gambling my whole life on the one true God, Shema uh, Yisrael Yehovah Eloheinu Yehovah Chad. I believe that there's one true God, and and that the Messiah has come and he's fulfilled 60 separate prophecies. Now he's coming again to judge. You believe in the prophecies that this Messiah is going to come and he's going to redeem Israel 
physically and he's going to sort everything out totally. Yes, he will. But first of all, he had to come and he had to deal with the biggest problem that we all have. And it's the problem of the heart. The heart of the problem is the problem of the heart. And that is sin. So he had to take the punishment for sin. And Isaiah 53, 6 clearly says, we all like sheep have gone astray, but the Lord has laid on him, not her, Israel, on him, the iniquity of us all. Let me respond to that. Let me respond to that. Yeah, yeah. You talk about fulfillment prophecies. You say he's fulfilled 60 prophecies. Separate uh, prophecies. 60 yeah. separate prophecies. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever seen a fulfillment prophecy of how it's used in the Hebrew Bible? So, for example, yeah. take Joshua chapter 6, verse 26, yeah. where he prophesies that whoever builds Jericho, he will lay his, the foundations with his firstborn son yeah. and, uh, you, you know. Yeah. And then when you get to 1 Kings chapter 15, was it 14? 15 verse... I can't remember the verse. Um, uh, right? and, and, it, and it says, right, uh, and the exact uh, the exact wording I can't remember, but um, but it says that Chiel from Bethel, um, who he uh, he rebuilt Jericho, and um, uh, right, and he uh, and and he laid his foundations with his firstborn son. I think his name was Segov, and something else about his other son, right? And it uh, right, and, and it and it says that this was a fulfillment of what of what the pro of what the prophecy of Joshua was. Now now now. When you can, uh, and there are other ones as well about the prophecy about Josiah and how that was fulfilled, right? The, prophe uh, right? the point I'm trying to make is yeah. that the way we as Jews look at fulfillment prophecies, yes. okay, actual prophecies being fulfilled, is that, is, that, is that you have a prophecy yes. which is made in a specific context, yeah. and then you have the actual fulfillment of that prophecy. Yes. When you say, when, when, in order to prove your point that Jesus is the Messiah, yeah that he's fulfilled prophecies you're not saying that he's fulfilled prophecies in the literal sense no you're 9. not daniel 9 he did years, that, years, that's the not time he will ride on a donkey into jerusalem that's not the chronology another... that's not how it works that is how it works how many kings of persia were there even orthodox how many kings of persia that's exactly how it works uh, that's not a... how it works so who's that's not you in your synagogue you're, you're learning what are you uh, have you what, what have type you... of orthodox are you what do you mean? What type of Orthodox? There are different types. I'm I'm a from Yekish Jew. That's what I am. Yekish. 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 That means I'm of uh, German descent. Okay. Right. All right. So you have different teachings within the Ju Judaistic um, organization, kind of thing. The the the, the do, interpretation of Daniel so chapter nine by rabbis is very very clear, and it is that uh, that look. Not when you by read, all rabbis, when, that's you, for sure. when you yes, Rabbi right, Yeshua, uh, he is not a rabbi. He was not a rabbi. He was not a rabbi. He was not by a rabbi. any stretch why of the did Yeshua, uh, Why did people call him? His name was rabbi, not Yeshua. Rabbi, rabbi. That does not work. You can't. His, he his name was his not name Yeshua. I don't believe that either. I believe that we simply do not know what his Hebrew name was because the Greek what? is very flawed. Okay, I've spoken to in Israel. I lived there for two years and I spoke to some Orthodox students. His name is not Yeshua, his name is Yeshu. That means may his name be cursed. No, 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 no. No, his it's an acronym. Adonai, it's not actually what it means. Yeshua Hamashiach. He Honestly, was the Messiah, what utter the, the, the Savior, God's salvation, and he is Adonai. He is the Lord. He's not God. Why and he's not the keep Messiah. Him Lord? Why do you keep changing the topic? I'm not I'm sticking to the you Bible. Are. Yeah, no. I'm sticking to you're the sticking, messianic you're sti prophecies no. that you're avoiding. No, because what like I'm saying way. Okay, start with yeah, the Messiah who we all anticipate to come like the Jew and anticipate David Dawood or something. They have David. Now he's the standard of Dawood. And the, the Christian got, David, uh, David. Uh, uh, Jesus and the Muslim got uh, Mahdi. Are they all one or just all different things? There is the one true God. There's the one true Creator. Yes. Now, when, when uh, Yeshua, when he was when he was surrounded by Sadducees and Pharisees, you know the Orthodox of the day, he said Sadducees to them, were not he turned orthodox. on them, like he said, of the day. "What do you think of the Messiah? What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he?" And they said, "Well, what? He's he's Ben David. He's the son of David." And then he said to them, "Why then does David Daud? Why then? Da why does da David say?" He says in when he's inspired by the Spirit of God, this is Amen. this is what Yeshua said. Why does he say, The Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool? Now do you You've know what made they a said capital that if he's L a son, on the second Lord for no so reason. He's a son like the KJV. He's Lord, his son and Lord. That's what thou David said. Okay? So he is the son and his Lord. Do you know what they said to him? He's lying to you. 
They didn't even say that. They were afraid. <laughs> they lying could to you. see. They I shut their mouth. That, to be fair. They no, might have said that. It wasn't regular. <laughs> If that wasn't record, but he's lying about they, Psalm 110. Did not ask him any more questions. Why? Because he was going by the Tanakh, which he doesn't. He goes by 30, maybe 20% Bible. The rest is the Talmud. Jesus said, "Don't follow the traditions of man. Get back to the Bible." This is why you're so confused. I am not you need confused. To get back to the Torah, the Tanakh. I think the person who is confused here is the person who constantly changes topic and refuses I to back up what he says. To what the question was. No. In answer to your question, no. And you and you lied to him about Psalm 110, verse one. Sorry? You lied to him about Psalm 110, verse one. I lied. Yes, you lied. This is a sin. You lied. Tell me my what? sin of lying about Psalm 110, written by David. Melech you, David. You claim. You claim. The of God was in him. You claim. No, you did not quote him accurately. You quoted what the KJV says. Tell me accurately what did Melech David say in Psalm 110? He said. He said God, an utterance of God to my master. It does not say the Lord spoke to the Lord. It does. It does not in say that. Hebrew it says. It, the first word is Ado followed by the syllable Noi. And the second time it says Adoni. No, Adoni. Which means my master. And it never once refers to God in the entire. In the, uh, no, it's not. In the. In the There's no vowels in the Dead Sea Scrolls. How can it be different? That's a. Re no, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about Psalms 110. Wait, wait, said that's, so you're that's in denial. Not, you need to be in I'm not land. being in, de in denial. I'm man. not being in denial. In I'm, I'm not in, in denial. Bible. Moses was in denial. Head, I'm here. My head is in the Tanakh and the Talmud. Your head okay, is in the New this. Testament. This. You answer don't this. care about what this actually says. Okay, this is in the. You're trying to escape the fight. Just like you always do, the Christian jump. What does it say? The Lord, that is Yehovah, you're too afraid to say it, but you, you're allowed to. No, we're not. Yehovah is, a, is an ish, is a man of war. Hang on, can God come down to the planet and stay, stay in this heaven This is a metaphor. Time? Everyone, uh, uh, okay, first of all, God is omnipresent. Everyone knows that. Anyone Indeed. who knows anything about theology Indeed. knows that God is omnipresent. Indeed, is. So, of course, God could be in both on heaven and on earth at the same time. So but omnipotent, the, though, And omnipotent, so of course. It's however, it's where you uh, it is. Yeah. however, what I'm saying, uh, however, there's no no one actually reads the song of the sea Shira Sayom in Exodus chapter 15 as a, as as literal as literal himself, descriptions okay, why does he associate himself then as a man of war what, ah, who, who, I'll tell you why I'll the, tell you why because be because but well, yes Where, the because Messiah because uh, can I answer one question at a time Sorry. before you switch topics <laughs> okay, you okay, switch yeah. from God being a man to the Messiah being okay, a man no, I mean no, honestly the rabbis explain, okay, this is Jew I'm explaining to you Jewish theology now, you can take it or leave it, but I'm explaining to you what we actually believe. And that is that the Torah, the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh, speaks Beloshen Bene Odom, in the language of men. What does that mean? It means that it all anthropomorphizes God in ways that humans can understand. Because God is beyond human comprehension, right? Everything about God is beyond human comprehension, and therefore we well, have to, and therefore, and therefore, yeah. okay. you can't understand, and him. You and therefore, can't understand him, but not fully. I wish you were more like Bob, because he doesn't interrupt. Wow, that's not often said. I'm just going to throw it out there. Oh. <laughs> no, more like. Well, can I just ask, God also says I am not a man that I should lie. So, um, you could just, I mean, that's so just from, from yeah. yeah. Okay, so, that, like, I understand it's analogous. Um, and that we can't understand it but if God chooses that language to evoke some uh, picturesque or some symbolic reference to himself then we must take that on board surely we must take it on board but we can't take it literally we need to realize that he's not saying I am a man of war he's saying that what I am can only be understood from the human perspective of a man of war. I've got a question for you. Okay, okay, right, understand so that because right Because he also describes himself as many other things. Messiah yeah, those things as well, but in terms of the specific wait, wait. action he's doing at that point. A uh, 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 not of war, but of something. He could have Sweet referenced himself in the Because, God, because of Let's war is We're also something here. which is physical. This is a tangent. Okay. No, it's not. Well, it is, because we need to find out who's the Messiah. It's not a tangent. The topic is an interesting. We've dealt with that one. You've been going on tangents from the very beginning. I wanted to talk about Fulfillment Messiah. prophecies, and you went unto uh, you, you went unto uh, okay. under the cop too long now. He went unto. He okay. just went to. Who right. is the is the Messiah going to be a man? Where is he going to come from? The Messiah is going to be a man. There are going to be two messiahs. One. Two messiahs. Yeah, two messiahs. 
See, but th th this shows how much you know about Jewish theology. Well, I do, quite a lot. There's I mean, going to be two messiahs. I studied under one... Jewish, proper Jewish teachers who understand the Bible, really? not the Talmud, really? in Israel for two years. Carry really, on. like Paul did, sure. Um, anyway, Shaul, so, anyway. Shaul, that's, that's the original name. Tarsus, the place of Hellenists, I highly doubt. That he, uh, I highly doubt. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, from, from Tarsus. Messiah, so anyway, there's going to be two messiahs. Well, there's going to be two. 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 In two, Israel, two, right, two. Now. right. So, um, oh, sorry, what's your name? Kate. 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 So, so, uh, so, Kate asks a question, and I'm going to try to answer her because David doesn't seem to care. So, Jews believe that there's going to be two messiahs, and uh, one is going to be a direct descendant of Joseph, the son of Jacob, right, from his son Ephraim, um, and the other is going to be the descendant of the Davidic line through David and Solomon. Um, who is going to be Moshiach ben David, and they have different functions. The Moshiach ben Yosef, the descendant of Joseph, is going to be kind of like a military leader, and is going to pave the way for the for, for, for the actual for, 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 the, for, for the redemption, which is going to be brought by the Moshiach ben David, the descendant of David, who is going to be the king uh, uh, once the redemption has, has happened. So, with this specific genealogy, can it not be attributed to one Messiah? Like, is there a chance that through the maternal line there would be the seed of David and through the paternal no, from Jacob. No, it doesn't work. Because, because when we say from Joseph, we mean from the tribe, or when we say from Ephraim, from Joseph, we mean from the tribe of Ephraim. And, it, and when we say um, from David, we mean of the Davidic line, the dynasty. Right now, 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 now in Numbers, it's very clear that tribal lineage um, have a look in the first few chapters of the book of Numbers. You'll see that the we go through the we, in the synagogue we go through the Pentateuch every year, so we, we end up having to, to read Numbers every year. So so so, oh, right. so 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 the first few chapters of Numbers there, it's very clear that tribal lineage is only paternal. And the way that we saw the, um, the the dynasty of the kings go down was very clear that it was supposed to be a paternal um, thing. Therefore, the uh, incidental. Yes. So now, therefore, it must now, too. Does it explicitly say this? Because I know now uh, Jewish law is that it's matrilineal so, because of the ethnic so, so, so this is the. So that's actually quite interesting because. Um, because from just reading the Pentateuch, it certainly seems as if tribal lineage and lineage of the nation of Israel are both patrilineal. It seems like the, the Pentateuch. But when you go to the book of Ezra, chapter 10, verses 2 and 3, we find something fascinating, which is that, that Ezra told the people to get rid, to, 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 uh, to, to divorce and get rid of their, their Gentile wives. And that's in verse 2. Right? And in verse 3, they got rid of their Gentile wives and the children that were born to them. Now, why would they send away the children if the children were also Israelites? It must be that the children were not Israelites. Why? Because the term Right. So we see that we see from here um, that, that, that that matrilineal descent is important for your national identity. If you're part of the nation of Israel, if you're a Jew, that does not contradict the fact that. Tribal lineage goes by the father. And are both a bloodline. Why you see me, I'm coming back. In what way? In the respect of I think oh, David's mother was a Moab, and also when uh, most the destruction, I think, of the Amicalites, when he says, and keep for yourselves those unmarried uh, ladies, I believe that's in order so that the tribe is for sure wiped out because these ladies can't be pregnant and therefore they can't continue their tribe. So they wouldn't be able to continue the, that line if if um, the maternal contribution to a birth, do you see what I mean? Like if the maternal line, okay, so if they were told to get rid of your wives and your children, it denotes to me um, some pollution via the um, extra tribe, like the outside of the tribe. They're saying we want to keep a pure lineage and therefore the mothers and the children are like mongrels or I don't know what you want to call it, like uh, mixed blood. But when um, when the Amicalites are destroyed, they don't have to destroy all of them. They can keep chased, uh, not chased, formally chased unmarried ladies, not because of um, what the Muslims would have, but because I believe that God just wants the destruction of the Amicalites and those women can't continue the line. Um, so if they can't continue the line, what does it matter if um, 
that means the wife's uh, contribution is kind of nullified even by motive. Like he's saying, it doesn't matter if we bring these ladies in and take them as wives, it won't dilute our... Yes. Right, second Samson. In first Samson. Chapter... I landed in... I remember landing in school. 15, 15. Either 15 or 16. Yeah. That's again. So that's an example of matrilineal over there being discounted. Over there, Saul did save the did, did save the women, but Samuel told him up for all of this. Yeah. This was not what God actually wanted. He wanted all of them to be killed. Yeah. Now, with regards to Ruth, um, with regards to Ruth, so that's actually quite interesting because a lot of people don't realize that there's such a thing as conversion to the nation of Israel to become sure a Jew. They must do because of the instructions to the Israelites as to how to treat those yeah. who come in. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I, 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 so, so at least according to Jewish tradition, Ruth was a convert, okay. and that's why Boaz was allowed to marry her, and therefore her son Obed was a Jew. And David's uh, mother being uh, David's mother's mother? uh, half Moab. Yeah. So, so David's mother's not mentioned in the Bible. Somebody's mother. I may have got. Yeah, that that's Obed's mother. Obed's mother, Ruth. Right. Is Boaz's wife? Right. Right. You have if the book of Ruth, or we call it the Scroll of Ruth. Um, who, um, uh, she was from Moab, and she was a convert right. into, into Israel. Um, so she she accepted it, and in fact, a lot of the laws that we have in what we call the Oral Law um, of conversion, um, um, we, 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 we see hints to it. We don't derive it from it. We believe it's so that before that, but we see hints to how the, how conversion is supposed to work from how Ruth's conversion is described in Ruth. So that would tie into your statement about nationality not being equivocable with uh, the actual bloodline kind of thing but um, once you're adopted in or once you're taken in then the bloodline is no longer relevant in God's eyes because you are now a part of Israel so then again if the uh, literal bloodline can be not superseded but like discounted in God's eyes as in newcomers uh, being um, accepted in then what does it matter if the mother is not not on the side? Just, if you're taking it just from right. one instance, so, so what was so, because I would so back to the two messiahs. Specific exceptions. Right. Back to the two messiahs. I, I know what you're saying. I know yeah. what you're saying. Um, so we have the general law. We have certain exceptions, and unless we have an exception which is specified, it's not an exception, right? Unless something is specified, then, then, then it's just another a potential day. argument. Now we have the exception of this idea. Of, 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 the, of going down via through the descendants of Israel, um, we have an exception by way of converts, right? But interesting about converts is they do not belong to a tribe, and but and because of that, a convert does not belong to any of the twelve tribes. But they are still as a whole, exactly. They still belong to Israel. They are part of the nation, but they're not part of any tribe. Why? Because the nation is not really about the blood. The tribe is about, about, is about the lineage. Yes. yes, but the tribes are not. Uh, 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 the tribes are about the lineage. The tribe is specifically about lineage. So, and that's what, that, and that's why converts do not get an official nakalor um, and an inheritance in the in the land of Israel. I was nodding before I even knew what you were talking about. Just to see for like, I thought you may have been clearing your throat. Yeah. Right. So, it's, it's, so we call it the nakalor. Um, it's described near the end of numbers. Numbers, the laws to do with that, and it's um, described in great details how this was given out in Joshua um, from chapter 12 till I think 22. So um, I've got a follow-up question. So my understanding, I've got um, I've got some people who are very close to me who work with a, mess a messianic uh, Jew organisation. I'm not asking you to not raise your eyebrows at that point, um, but they are doing it out of love. My question is, I, on my very limited, like I'm a polemicist of Islam rather than uh, obviously Judaism. I believe you have. The, the true God and the true book and the, everything like that. But I thought that Jesus, part of his rejection was based on the fact that he didn't come as the first Messiah that you described, the one with the sword and the it, genealogy aside. He did come as a, a, um, a, like as in a revolutionary with a sword and to come and free the Jews from the oppression that they were suffering under the Romans. I thought that 
apart from scriptural evidence, because he was prophesied as coming um, in a mighty way, as it were, and I thought that was part of the rejection. So if that's the case, um, if there are two messiahs, then that would kind of counter that, because to be honest, I'd never heard of that. Yeah, I'd never read it into A lot of people have never heard of it. Yeah. He's and like, um, if you stay tuned, next week I'm going to be having a debate with Paperboy about this Yay. very, about this I very a, subject. I have a spare three hours. <laughs> we're, going be, we're going to be having a debate. Two, two Cummings versus Two Messiahs. It's going to be, oh, nice. it's going to be great. All right, so just let me ask this without doing any spoiler alerts. Can Christ not fulfill the role of the second Messiah better if there's a precluding, like a, um, a warm-up guy, as it were, a, a first Messiah who's going to come and lay the groundwork with a sword for the Prince of Peace and the Mighty. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not sure. Can you rephrase that? Yeah. You have two Messiahs. One is going to lay the groundwork violently in a warlike fashion. And the second one is going to usher in some kind of peace, I imagine, or oversee um, some harmony. A new era. Yes, that will do. A new, a new world order. I hate that. But the thing is, the conspiracy if, theorists yes, are loving it. If the first, got their tinfoil hats if, on. if the Jews, ex I mean, has the first one already arrived? No, neither of them. Okay, so great. If, if though, you then consider well, Christ wasn't a violent man, apart from a couple of tables, you know, whatever, being turned over and uh, some strong words to the Pharisees. If the cases that he was rejected somewhat on the basis of not being an overthrower of the Romans or a, a revolutionary in that manner and the first messiah would have even though you say he hasn't appeared yet if someone can be attributed with that wouldn't Christ be easier to accept based on his bringing peace and love as the second messiah is supposed to do no because of specific things that we believe about about the sequence of events genius. about these two messiahs it was the sequence of events the second one the Davidic the one the second one the Davidic one so Mary was the seed of David and so was Joseph but, actually well Jesus was not according to Christians Jesus was not the son of Joseph of course not and and I mean God trumps, Mary, God trumps and, uh, David and, just gonna... and Mary yeah. and uh, Mary was the mother and therefore the patrilineal descent if there is, isn't there if you can but, 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 let me uh, just put it this to you if, if you were to accept that there is a miraculous virgin birth if because God is omnipotent then the only seed that would be in play would be through the mother's line or through the grand, maternal grandfather you can say this is his grand do you see what I mean like that, anyway your question so your so your question about the first so, right, one so, right, right, right. So that would mean that there would be more than a two, uh, over two thousand years gap between the two. And Is Jewish theology. In that, so in Jewish theology, we believe that it's going to be a, a very quick process of about seven years in total. So you're going to say a very quick seven hundred years? No, you are patient seven, people. It's going to be a seven-year period maximum. It could be shorter. Like the, and yeah. it's based on verses, but I'm not going to say them because it's a bit of a spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, but I would advise you to have a look. One of the Christian proof texts in Zechariah is something that we base this on. It's one of the things we base this on. So have a look at off the camera. You can feed me a couple of verses yeah. to go and do some homework. Yeah. Right, right. So are you are you happy to wrap it up then, or is there anything? Is there anything you want to know about what Christians think um, other than like what is yeah, sure. I, I would I would like to know actually. Um, I'd like to know a bit more about the Christian perception of Satan. Okay, so Satan, as in uh, Genesis, we believe that's fully Satan, the serpent. Uh, we believe that he's an angel of the Lord as Lucifer rather than as Satan. Uh, we believe that in Job, he has access to heaven, even though he's been uh, cursed by God. We know that he was walking in heaven. We know that God uh, lowered himself to speak with him, like to take his question about Job. Uh, we believe that this world is under his dominion with the sovereignty of the Lord, like nobody does anything without God's acquiescence, but not, not approval, but without his uh, authority, as it were, his ultimate authority. But yes, Satan is the god of this system, with a small g, uh, we're told in the Bible. What else do we know? We know that he is uh, the dragon at the end of days who Babylon will ride upon. Um, he doesn't, it's, the devil made me do it, it's not quite accurate, because Christians believe that the heart is deceitfully wicked above all else and who can know it says the Lord and he, there's nothing he doesn't know he's saying I know it 
stop mucking around. Um, so say to I, me personally, without like doctrine to back me up, I would say that Satan would like it if we disbelieved in his existence, because then we wouldn't be solely blaming ourselves when it's our nature due to the curse of God to be fair that we are innately sinful and without the Holy Spirit Christians believe we have no recourse to peace patience kindness mercy long-suffering goodness gentleness so those are the fruits of the Holy Spirit who's obviously in the Old Testament too what else we believe that Christ alone um, is the only mediator between us and God, although Catholics also throw Mary under that bus somehow. But I'm not a Catholic. Uh, we believe that the uh, spotless lamb that God promised in Exodus or Deuteronomy is Christ, that the um, the Passover in Egypt is a foreshadowing of his perfect blood. And Satan, yeah, we believe that the, even that in the garden, the curse of stamping on your head and biting at the heel, that is Christ, at the seed, that that, uh, God references of the woman is Christ. So through the first Adam sin entered, second Adam, boom, Bob's your uncle, and Satan is opposed to all of that. So do you believe that Satan is actually in rebellion against God? Yes. So he's not on a mission from God, he's actually in rebellion against God. No, I don't believe that God gave him, I believe that God, uh, he fell from grace of his own uh, will. Ah. Yeah, I don't think that. So, do Jews believe that God created evil as in part of the overall plan? Yes. Okay, and what? What's, I know it's a bit of a facetious question, but does God give any clues as to why He would do that? Yes. As part um, of the curse? No, not as part of the curse. Because the but serpent is already there. Of, um, because we believe that part of the purpose of the world and humankind is that. And this is a very philosophical point, and I don't fully understand it, but this is basically how it goes. Um, God is good, whatever that means. Um, he alone is good. Right, right. God is goodness, good, right. personified, well, deified. What, whatever that means. Yep. Okay, I don't know what it means, but it whatever. Means it's beyond morally that. perfect. That's one of the definitions e of good e in e the e e Even that is difficult. But, well, he sets the standard regardless, for perfection, yeah. Regardless, so he is good. And part of being good is to do good to others. Yes. But you can't do good to others if there's no others. That's, we believe in a triunity, so. And the Holy Spirit is also Wait, in the... Wait, so, hold on. Uh, just before I finish that. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to circle back to that statement. He's never alone. Yeah, he's never I, alone. I've, def I've definitely got to circle back to that sure. when I finish this point. Triangle like, back to it, if yeah, you will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Joking. With that, yeah. That's not really what triangulating is, but no, I'm no, definitely going to come back. No, no, I meant triune your way back. Right. That, anyway, so yeah, you so, can hone so, in on it. Right. Triangulate so, so, that so, way. So, so you can't do good to others if there's no others there. Yes. Right. And um, and, an and therefore God created man in order to do good to him. However, right. Uh, right so, so he's going to give so, the man to worship him. Can, can, I, can I just press yeah, sure. um, In order to in order to do good to man. Yep. Now. If he's just now, he could have made us as just this uh, as just this thing where he just pumps you full of pleasure and stuff. Like but, a Muslim in but, Jannah. But but that's not but that's not very worthwhile yep. because everyone knows if you if you um, if 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 your if your parent buys you a phone, right? So you don't appreciate it much. Yeah, right? you it's didn't not, earn it. Right? But if you work hard and then as a reward you get a phone, right? Or you're able to spend the money and get the phone for yourself. So then you're much more appreciative of what you have, much, and it's, it's a much better good, it's more Can good. Can you do anything so, pleasing so, so to God? That is a good question. And I'll be asking it on Judgment Day. <laughs> I'll be double checking. Can, can, can you do it? So the question... With, in our sinful, fallen state. Ah, so we don't really believe that sinfulness is a state. We believe that it's only an act. So Jewish baby, theology and Christian theology so, about okay, what so sin is, Completely different. In your a lot account, of people don't know that. In your Strange. account of the garden, Wait, I, I, I you don't have any. I, sorry, I didn't finish the thing. Sorry. So, so, so therefore, God gave us certain. Um, so th th therefore, in order for us to be able to earn the rewards that He's going to give us, therefore we have to do work. But if we only have a choice of good and we don't know evil. We don't have a choice between good and bad. Then, no then therefore, there's no th 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 there's no choice, and therefore God gave a choice. Now, originally, this is Jew what Jewish theology teaches. Um, uh, originally, the test was something which was external, outside of man, and that was what the snake was doing. Okay, Adam had one 
one task, one commandment um, at that point, um, to not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the test was something which was external to him. It wasn't an inner battle, it was an outer battle, because the snake was a physical thing. And we believe it was an actual it wasn't snake. It was a battle, to be fair, um, as well. <laughs> although, I mean, there, there are different opinions amongst the rabbis as to whether or not the entire story is simply a metaphor, or whether or not it's actually literal. I, think, I, I strongly believe I strongly believe it's literal, yeah, but there are other opinions, like, uh, it seems to me that Maimonides is of the opinion that it's a metaphor, um, but even that's not very clear. Um, but I, I'm, I'm definitely somebody who believes that it's literal. Um, um, that's, uh, I, I, I personally follow that school of thought, that it's that it's literal. So we don't believe that the snake was Satan. We believe that the snake is a snake, and it's there can in talk. all and can With talk legs. and has legs. And that then, so and, and, and as a punishment, his legs were chopped off, and he had to slither Crawl on the on ground. Right yeah. now, he would have to bite at the heel of of, of man and the, and the woman who he so desired which yeah. is why he started off by talking to her. I don't see any snakes at my hill at the moment, so I don't think it's just mankind. So, yeah, so, so, well, that's a different argument yeah. about whether or not that's a prediction about a messianic yeah. figure or not. Yeah. I know that But is, what God says happens, uh, so... Well, yeah, so yeah. it's... Okay, that's a different Metaphor, topic. Okay. That's really a different topic. Yeah. So anyway, so... So so that was the original test. Originally, the way we, that we were going to earn the reward was the by was, was just by following this one commandment and and not succumbing to the temptation that was outside of us which was what the snake not was tempting us to do oh right? i see the, right that god sent this this snake to tempt us so now, god it was like in job again basically they made a deal to well, afflict well, well, job and well, no, it was agreed no it's not very different because there you have affliction suffering here you have a no, test but i'm saying they were in cahoots satan had the acquiescence explicit acquiescence of god to go and tempt adam and eve no so no so, so we're saying that we don't believe the snake was satan but evil was present to tempt them so, away so I'm, from I'm goodness. coming to satan right okay. now we're at the no but right, i'm asking so, why did the serpent just a mere animal why did why was he more crafty than the other animals like that, why i do not know but that's, did god know. have a, a word question. with him and like you're saying I, god sent this that, test that, that was that yeah god you just sent mean this by test. influence like just yeah that was like in the programming i suppose um okay. i'm gonna now, watch out for those those now now the the now once adam and eve ate from the tree the knowledge the, the knowledge of good and evil now became within them so now what does that mean according to jewish theology what this is now that instead of being an external battle and the, the the snake being outside and trying to tempt us now that now we have the inner battle instead between what we call the yetzah hatov and the yetzah hara well, now the it's good inclination fair. and the evil inclination now it's fairer because they didn't know the repercussions of sin because they had no knowledge of evil before they so, failed well, it, so it was a false test so it not really. Do you know because, what I mean? They because, didn't know any sinners. They didn't know any sin. It's complicated. It, 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 according to Jewish theology, they knew what the repercussions would be, Prior but, to they thought, the but they thought that it was actually worth it. How they, could they know if uh, they had yet to have the knowledge of good so, and evil? Okay, so or is it a different th This group? is a very interesting um, thing um, that the rabbinic commentaries report. talk about, <laughs> which, is that, um, which is that Adam and Eve, um, Adam wanted to increase his service to god okay um, is it pretty arrogant this, this, as well he was this, already this, perfect this, and... this this is a this is a very interesting and deep point so adam Harry wanted adam, adam, wanted to, um, adam wanted to serve god in a better way and show god even more devotion so what did he do he he made a calculation and this was a wrong calculation and this is where he sinned he said god is prior to knowing evil right, so it doesn't mean that he didn't know what evil was. Yeah, the it knowledge of good and evil definitely he means the it, knowledge of good and evil. Not according to us. Not according to us. Oh, you love an argument, you lot. Go on, go for it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we do. Yeah, we do, we do. I don't mean you personally. No, I mean, right, you could me. go around and... I, like, I me too. I didn't. <laughs> but that may be my heritage. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, right, so go for it. Boss, so, boss, so before, you, before you answer to your points, battery change. Ah, oh, right. Good battery change. Assalamu alaikum. Good to understand. All right, rolling. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam. Right, we're rolling again. So, action. That's Satan. You. Not you, Satan. Right, right, so what, what was I? You oh, yeah. were at. So, they sinned before oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, knew yeah, the right, evil. Right. So, I was explaining that they, they didn't have 
they didn't have a temptation inside them and to, 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 to do evil, right? But they knew that what this was was something they were not supposed to do yes. because God had told them not to do it. Yes. Now, Adam's calculation, this is according to the rabbis, Adam's calculation was as follows. It was that I want to increase my devotion to God and I want to do even more to earn. Right? Because he feared right? because, he was but, disappointing him. No, because Adam wanted to show his love for God in an even better way. The problem was that Adam made a miscalculation. His miscalculation was as follows. I want to serve God in the best way possible. But, at the moment, the only way I can serve God is by not eating from the fruit. Right? That's an external it's challenge. Negative but, if, well, yeah. but if challenges were inside of me, and it was a constant battle inside of me, then you lost me the, at this point. if there I was understand. a constant battle between good and evil inside of me, then I'd be able to serve God even more. Excellent. Because can I ask it would be a far more interject? difficult challenge. Right. You know, legally, uh, children, for example, are not held liable for, uh, not sin, sorry, crimes, because, and some mentally impaired or mentally ill people, because even though they know it's bad, uh, they don't necessarily know the ramifications of their actions in a mature fashion. So they know that by punching someone that it's naughty, but they don't know they might injure them indefinitely or, or manslaughter charges, maybe, something like that. So the courts are happy, not happy, but they will say this person is not fit to stand trial for this because they cannot have mature knowledge of the ramifications. So I, if I was not Jehovah's Witness, if I was Adam's Witness, as it were, I would say for one, we've shifted blame from Eve over there back to the guy. And also, ha even if he was aware that you're not supposed to do it, he had no other experience of any, any of creation going against God's word and God. Yeah, so how can you be held accountable? Because because the Bible says, I don't know if it's your bit or our bit, says that before the law, sin was present, but no one is held accountable for it because, you know, for Christians, the Holy Spirit convicts us, but for Jews, the law, before the law came, there was sin, but no one will be held accountable because God had yet to give the rules. Obviously, this one commandment with Adam is slightly so different. So we do believe that there were already laws before the Sinai Covenant, Natural um, the, laws the seven Noahide laws. Right. Um, but that, that's a different topic. Yeah. I'll get to okay, so back maybe to another. Adam and his, okay, so, his knowledge so, so, of the so, ramifications. Right, so Adam's calculation. So Adam knew that if he were to eat from the apple, okay, he would now have an internal struggle, and if he were to be now, able to, that, that, and if he were to be able to overcome that struggle, it would be an even better He'd service be to hero. God, and it would be yep. even better, right? The plot now. Adam did that. Now, so it was now, Adam's. Now, hang on. So did he convince Eve to give him the apple? So, so Eve made the same calculation. Independently, that, or they yeah, chatted about I, it. That I'm not sure of. That's a good question. Yeah. I will. I, I will look up. The New Testament says just... that she is the one who sinned, and someone argues yeah, that Adam did it. Yeah, I know. Didn't. So I don't. It's a bit sexist. But... So I'm not. I'm not sure. That's a very good All question. Right, we can come where back Eve actually comes into that. this? That's yeah. a very good question. I, I don't know the answer. Um, now, the now, now, what was Adam sin then? Adam's sin was thinking, was thinking that he knew better than what God had wanted, right? right? No, it wasn't pride. But he was so, proud enough to assume that he was correct and God was in error. That uh, God had said, don't do it. And, and, and implicit in that statement is don't do it no matter what you think the potential benefits are. Don't do it. I'm the law, literally. I'm the sheriff around here. And I'm saying everything else but no. Can I say something wasn't, regarding... Uh, let me just second, get second. his... The, I never spoke so, so, the, so the sin wasn't pride. The sin was doing something God, God explicitly said not to do. And that is How would is you wrap that up in a sound bite? Arrogance? No. Disobedience? Did Willfulness? Did he say don't do it or did he say you would God, die on the day that you do do it? God said don't eat from that tree and he ate from the tree. Elf. Did he give yeah, out? Uh, you would die on the tree. Let me say something regarding... Let me say something regarding this. We know that God commanded him not to eat from it. Yeah. But uh, Adam and Eve was cheated by Shaitan who... They uh, think it's just a lizard who had his legs chopped off and stopped speaking. No, no, like he cheated them and he swore to them he said, that, God has they, said that you'll be they will be okay. That's in Islam. Okay. That, 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 may in the that may be true in Islamic theology okay. and it may be similar to Christian theology, but it's not Jewish theology. And I'm explaining yeah, Jewish I, theology I, I, right sorry. now. In your book, though, does, say, uh, does the serpent rather not say 
um, you can be as God. You will be as God. You'll be. You'll be like God. So he God. gives them a so, ramification so, of the success of the action, as it were. So that that's a part of it and that God I'm has not, prohibited. So that's a part of it that I'm not so clear. On. I'm not so clear about that. You've got to ask part. about 800 rabbis and then wait for them all to stop fist fighting and then like they the winner. Fist fight. <laughs> I'm no, I'll just read the commentaries on it. Um, I do that. Is there a commandment? Um, one second, one second. Let's get so, so, uh, it's a commandment with a consequence. What's the prohibition? So What's the, the prohibition else? is do not eat from the tree. Less. And the and the consequence is you're gonna die. Excellent. Right? With a now, time frame as this but gentleman he didn't says die. on that day. He yeah. was sent so, down from Well from they died heaven. as in the, the grace yeah, kind but, of but they are so, mortal anyway, so how how no, no, can they would have lived for no, 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 because yeah. he was mortal, he was they created to mortal. die. But, but you're uh, coming from a Quranic... That, that's Islamic no, no, theology, no, no, it's no, not I'm Jewish not, theology, uh, and it's not Christian. Regardless of Islamic, all mankind... Well, it's not regardless, because we get bring it in. Man, we find an atheist, see what they reckon happens. Uh, all, mankind, <laughs> all mankind actually created to die. Yeah, but we believe that Eden is on it's Earth. Do we believe that? Of it's not about the or... It's debated. It's but debated. The, but about the Tigris what? and the Pishon and the yeah. Euphrates, it's, they're definitely so, earthly rivers. Once again, it's debated. I believe it was an Everything's earthly thing. Everything's debated. That's a, a, mute, a moot point even yeah. for um, so, Jews. Yeah. So, so th there, are, there are two opinions on that. Maimonides believes, grace, that, like the, 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 earth, believes that it's a spiritual place. I am not convinced either way at this point. I'm on the fence. Okay. I'm on the fence about whether or not it was a physical place or a spiritual place. I think it's both. I think the spirit of the I think the, the Lord walked in the garden, therefore he like his grace abounded, he created it. He created it, therefore it wasn't spiritual because he had just created, God created the earth. spiritual stuff too. Um, he created well, the, the spirit of the, created, no, the spirit of the Lord hovered above the deep. So that, that spiritual yes. I mean to say it was a physical place because he he took the rib and he took the earth and he thank you so, he did those physical these things are, th th these, these are side points which are very very interesting yes. but it's not really yeah the topic yeah um, sorry so satan so back to this the, pesky not satan sorry the, the serpent so but you're going to get to we're satan. getting to the satan we're certainly getting everyone to satan. always is right so um so or was I? Just catch you were, my train uh, of he knew what would happen, even You're, though he had no knowledge right. of sin. He knew that he was going against something, yes. and now, was therefore now, liable in a court of law. Right? Now he. Now the reason he was liable is because what, what was what, even though he didn't know that the struggle would be as bad as it actually is. Okay. Thanks, Adam. He knew that the struggle would be bad, that the sin was doing what, against what God said. Yeah. He wants to show his love of God against. So he disobeyed what, in order it, to try and yeah. rescue it at the eleventh yeah. hour, as it were, and Basically. become a hero. Yeah. Right. So that was that was the sin. It's a much more the way that Jewish theology looks at these, and in fact, the way you, we look at the whole of the Book of Genesis is a lot more deep and a lot more calculated in terms of all the sins than. The way As a I shallow Christian, I'll have to take your word for that. We've, we've never really studied the Bible. No, I'm joking. I know. I, you're very, you're very, uh, very courteous. Thank you so much. This is the ninth hour of his existence. Yes. Yeah, so he obviously so, knew what he was doing. Don't be ridiculous. Hours. So he didn't even eat the fruit yet. He knew. Hours, within nine hours, in the presence of God, he still in perfection. Him. What help has anyone? Well, we have Jesus. Well, that's not his name though, is it? Yeshua. I don't mind what his name is. I, I care about his blood, to be honest, in a non-vampiric way. Uh, because of the Latin. Uh, I don't mind. The Greek is... He called... Hang on. He, sorry. He called me by name. He called me by name. That's what I need to know. He did. He's okay. Uh, it says I've called you by name. Okay. He's talking to the descendants of Jacob and Christians believe they are adopted into Israel. And actually, my genealogy is also of that, uh, that little branch there. So... What God thinks of me is more important than what I think of God and what I choose to call God as well. And the Jews also uh, refrained from mentioning his true name. So there's precedent. Well, you can pull your faces, but there is. Anyway, um, Satan. Right. So or Josh, now, as I like right. to put that so, joking. <laughs> Yeah, right. that's me. I'm the back, synagogue back of Satan. Back to the horned, uh, non-serpenty non dude. Yeah. Yes. All right then. So, um, the... I'm so glad the police aren't telling us to move out of the cycle lane Yeah, they're today. being, um, they're, they're being, being quite uh, courteous today. Well, they're busy. All, all three of them. 
They're much better than the last time I was here when Tommy came and they were, oh my goodness. That was, that, it was embarrassing. I, it was the first time I'd ever actually witnessed police brutality. I, I, it, I, Where I have didn't, you been? I did, I'd never seen it before with my own eyes. I'd heard about it. TV. I did, yeah, I'd and never like, seen it. Actually, you must like, have seen footage of riots and stuff. No, I haven't. Oh, wow, show I was, yeah, I'm quite And sheltered. religious upbringing, yeah. excellent. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah. I always thought the police were, were, were good there people. There are some decent were... ones, but I think after a while they become inured because it's a thankless task. Their superiors don't really respect them and neither do the public, so it's kind of... I mean, I used to respect the police. I, I respect that. the institution, like the peacekeeping aspect and the upholding the law, but... The minority report thing, the thing of we know you're going to break, like that is a nonsense. Do you know what I mean? Stay in your homes, I you haven't committed a crime. Yeah, no, believe, believe them. And like, just. I, yeah. I was shocked. It's I was standing at a quite safe distance because I'm studying law and I don't want to get a criminal record. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 I mean, often it's even if you're charged with something, I shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. The fact that doesn't necessarily mean, for one, that you'll go to court, for two, that you'll be prosecuted, and for three, that you'll be found guilty of that. And even so, you can, um, even with a minor criminal record, there's a statute, like after a while it's spent and you don't need to declare it unless it's like DBS yes, worthy. When it comes to being a lawyer, you can't have any criminal record. Yeah, well, I know people in the legal profession, but not, I'm going yeah, to not law because, uh, because there aren't enough Jewish lawyers. <laughs> Yeah, there's enough Jewish laws. I know that much. I'm following in the family business. Well, arguing is literally the like the whole branch, as it were. But right, so Structured debate. we've done That's the serpent. Do. Adam, he's so now he's got will. Now, will. now after the fact, whatever the sin was, I've tried to explain as much as we'll I could. We'll go with breaking right? the rules. So now he has the internal struggle yes. in him between what we call the good inclination and the evil inclination. Yeta Tov and Yeta Hoa. And Satan has nothing to do with it at this stage. Now we believe that Satan, or Satan, is... Was like, he Lucifer for Jews? Was he a morning so star? We don't, so we don't have a concept of Lucifer. And I'm not entirely sure what Lucifer even is. Do you have, he's the morning star, the light bringer, the angel. Know what that is he's an angel. Uh, yeah, we believe he's an light. angel. Yeah. So, so... So now he's described uh, okay, as a right. cherubim in some places, so, and then so, a... so we need to. I need to explain the concept of an angel in order to explain the Satan. You really don't. I do. I do. No, I know because about we, them. No, because we believe angels are completely different. From the different Old Testament, what, from but, the Book of Daniel, yes, but, from. The, but how we understand what angels actually are and what they're supposed to do. You can explain the wheels to, to me. Theology. That would be great. Jewish theology about angels is completely different. I don't to, need, um, no, I don't need the theory. Is did God create a separate uh, race of beings to work? Worship him only and serve him and glorify him, like and sing Hosanna in the highest a lot. He created the angels, the Malachim, which means literally means messengers. Yes, like right, angels. So some, order, of the, some of the in, messengers in are human, order but to be representatives of God, which by the like way, intermediaries. Yeah, yeah, like a representation, like power of attorney. Yes, 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 yes. Um, which, by the way, is is how Jews see all the verses where angels are speaking as if they are God and people are talking to them as if it's God. For his name but, is in so, you. So, he yeah, will not so, forgive so, your transgressions. So, so, so Jewish theology looks at those verses as, as um, not the pre-incarnate as, as, Christ, as, as obviously. not actually God, yep. but as representatives of God. And because they're representatives they of speak God, in his they, name. they speak as if they, they are see, him. Yep. Like, that's how we see it. Yes. A lot of Christians straw was man Satan, that. It's very annoying. Uh, was Satan a budding advocate so, who Satan, went rogue? No. So Satan is one of the angels. Uh -huh. is one so we of, agree. Yep. And his mission is that he is the Mischief. evil inclination in every single human being. He is the evil inclination. He's very busy. How did the he demons come about? To... Can I ask? Is I there a war in heaven? I don't understand the. I don't understand about demons. I don't understand about that. I'm not going to talk about. Is it there such understand. a thing in Judaism? There's a thing called a shade, shadim, which is usually translated as demons. I have no idea what they are, and I don't know anything about they're them. Kind of, I but they're a kind of. Anyway, we won't no get idea. into it. Okay, but I'm it's, saying Satan's it's very busy if he doesn't have whole, help. It's like, part of Kabbalah, the whole esoteric, mystic side of Judaism. I don't understand it. Are there any all. demons referenced in the Old Testament? I'm trying to not think. that I know of. The New Testament there is because Mary Magdalene now, was... Now, I do anyway, know, because I learned, I learned to, just, just on this, whilst we're on this very quickly, yep. I remember learning in the Talmud, in Tractate Megillah, um, um, that there, what, that, um, there's a verse in Daniel, I think it's in, it's in either, I think it's chapter 10, possibly, one of those later chapters, after chapter 7, but, but before chapter 12, and it's not in chapter 9, 
um, yeah. where it says that Daniel saw a vision um, and the other people there didn't see it and with the wheels they were scared that one? I don't know um, I think it's cherubim and it's a uh, poor translation right, and sure. they, uh, I should get out of my yes. and have a look if your hands aren't too close do you want one of my gloves while you're I brought this one because it's easier to turn the pages. It's easier to trick people as well. You can just read what you like. There's a... <laughs> I mean, I have one with English as well. No, it's fine. I'll take your word for it. What's the big gap for? Can I just... Is that just the style of writing? Like... Oh, those are the ten sons of Hummel. Right, and are those um, so, censored, so, as it were? No, so traditionally, they they are they are written in, in the scroll like that because they were hung one on top of the other oh, in a, in, on the tree. Yeah, I've got you. So they're read vertically yeah. rather than no, no, it's read horizontally. Ah. And, and um, when we get to poem, we when we read this the scroll of Esther, so we read it, um, we read the ten sons all in one breath. Just showing off at this stage, I think. But any, okay, no, so really, that's that's really the custom. That's what we do. Um, Even severe Janet. asthmatic Jews, <laughs> there must be some claw. I know there is. My, if, my if, mother's asthmatic. There you go. So <laughs> she must be allowed to. Well, she, she does it. Every, she does it every year. It's really yeah. not difficult. Okay. Um, it is but anyway, um, one second. Okay. I know it's in the Hebrew part of Daniel near the end. So, so it could be seven it, it, to twelve, it, it, but not ten. Right. So it's not in chapter seven. The Hebrew starts here because that's all Aramaic. I see. So and I know it's in Hebrew because I remember. Oh, I think I'm being phoned. You are. Do you want me to? Oh, it's my the other half of Jews at the corner. Okay. Hello. Right. Okay, I've covered the, up the, the mic. The other, the other Jew who covered the debate. Uh, the taller boy. With yeah, you. the ginger. Yeah. I was trying not to be prejudiced. Well, oh, that, my hair he, he calls him that as well. No, okay, <laughs> he calls it right. a bit. Uh, uh, ginger Jew, please, God, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, synagogue of Satan plus no soul. I mean, mad stuff. It's outrageous prejudice. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, all, all you need is the New Testament and the Quran for prejudice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, every idle word on the judgment day. Let's anyway, get to it. Anyway, just banter, you know. Just banter. I've got Jesus I'm, speaking I'm, to I'm, me, I'm full of banter. But anyway, me too. Um, so I was reading Those it. Those priests of Baal deserve to be mocked. That's what I say. Indeed. Right. Oh, could be this actually. Um, I found it is chapter ten. Chapter ten, verse seven. All right. The battery is still working. I'm guessing. But the mic is the mic on. Yep. Everything. So right. It's Daniel chapter ten, verse seven. Uh, it says, "And I, Daniel, myself, saw the um, the vision or the sight." Um, and the men that were with me, they did not see the sight or the vision. Yep. Yeah, the sight. But a great harada, a great trembling, a great um, um, yeah, trembling is a good word, I suppose. Um, Rumble, um, murmur, palpitation. No, because it's like a, 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 a fear, I suppose. Oh, um, an individual but, trembling. Yeah, yeah. fell on them. Are the other people he was with? Oh, okay. Um, so they were affected, right. but just not visually. Um, and they and they fled into hiding. And I, Good this is now verse eight. It, really. Yeah, and, th and then verse eight, it says, "And I, this is Daniel speaking. And I alone remained, and I saw the great sight, the great vision, um, th this great vision, um, and strength, and, and there was no strength that remained within me. Yep, uh, it was weak the at Hodi, the sight of this. And my splendor um, was turned on me to destruction. So my splendor turned into destruction." And I didn't have, I don't know what that word means, I didn't have strength, something like that. Yeah. Right? So the, the Talmud in Tractate Megillah, um, page 3. Oh, come now, come now, they can Google a, it. Yep. Um, or 3B. Oh, 3A, Google, 3A, some other search engine. Yeah, 3A um, says that over there, what is it, that, what was this thing that caused the people to be. Um, to, to be scared. If they didn't see the thing, what was making them scared? Yeah. So it says there that this was a that this was a, um, a a demon, basically. This was a shade. That this is what the commentaries explain there, because it says a word that's not very clear, and then the the commentaries explain this was a shade. This was a demon. Um, that's really all I know about demons. Um, so that's, that's the answer to your. All, but that's not all that Judaism knows. It's just yeah. that you, Judaism has so a lot written about this. If I was to go away 
and, <laughs> and research within it. a week or two weeks because you're going to speak to Paperboy, Paperboy next, next week. week and then if you're still here the like following week then I'll I'll hit you with my heavy Judaic demonic yeah. knowledge yeah. that I've obviously been keeping to myself all this time <laughs> yeah yeah okay. so, so that's really all I know about demons that's the only thing I've ever learned about demons right that so particular should page we wrap up a bit because we didn't actually get to Satan but it's Satan. a very complex well we've covered the the precursor to was complex well yeah we know this that's <laughs> why they're banging your door down Tim dude okay, guys, running, okay so wrap up I'm gonna let uh, Josh like wrap up the weirdly random like um, all over yeah, the place I mean, we, yeah it, it was kind of all over the place but we did establish some interesting points Kay explained to me about Christian theology about Satan which was very interesting um, and uh, I was trying to explain various things about Jewish theology about Satan but we didn't really get there because there's so many we got as far as a potential demon so yeah, I mean so, we're on so, the, the road so, with good intentions so, so there were a lot of um, a lot of tangents along the way um, and we had, had to explain um, the nature of the evil inclination before Adam's sin and how it changed after and what Adam's calculation was which are all very complicated and deep subjects but I tried to simplify them yep um, and um, the I, I mentioned in passing that the evil inclination we believe is Satan um, I after the sin so Satan was present in a perfect being no let's no. go so yes. afterwards that Satan is the evil inclination and that he is an angel, a representative of a god. So this is kind of things I hinted at, but I didn't explain properly, and right. hopefully will explain next time. Definitely. So my uh, take, and the things I may be asking, just as a spoiler alert, is I believe that the uh, if Satan can be an evil intention in the mind of someone who is perfect in God's sight, or God at least says it is good, that's problematic. If he originated in the mind of man that's also problematic like so yeah i'll come back to the the problems as it were um but uh i'm looking forward to the to the demonology as it were um because i for one believe that if we stop i don't mean disney or any hallmark fluffy tinkerbells and stuff like that but i think if we stop believing in messengers of god in their celestial angelic like uh race and hierarchy then we are more apt to disbelieve in satan and then we are completely lost because it's only a, a short hop and a step before we disbelieve in God as well because then we must attribute all evil to God solely which to a Christian anyway you know there is none good but God so on that bombshell spoiler alert for anyone who's not Christian or Jew um, yeah watch this space and we will be back with a part two potentially two B and three three B and C because it's quite a big See where book this takes us exactly yeah, yeah hopefully not uh, Sheol or anywhere <laughs> too dark but yeah. yeah all right god bless and thanks for watching <laughs>